Robs, for those who aren't aware, tell us about the injury. Going back in time now, of course, a number of months. Yeah, going back to September now, so a long time ago. Um, it was just unfortunate. I'd, I'd only been on the pitch about five, five, ten minutes. I uh, came on a sub against Cardiff Met, and I've just tried to take a shot, and um, someone's caught the back of my heel, and I've sort of like miskicked the ball. And at the time, I didn't think it was that serious. I tried to play on, and then I went to push off, and my knee just gave way basically. And uh, it turned out that I basically I tore my meniscus in my knee, so you know, it wasn't wasn't ideal. And at that stage, as you say, you didn't think it was that serious. When did you realise that it was? Um, probably not till about a week or two after, because um, I came in the next day and it hadn't really swelled or anything, and Phil thought it might have just been a little bit of a tweak on me ligaments, maybe. And then about a week after that, the swelling started coming out a bit more, and it wasn't really going down. And then it wasn't until about another week after that, Phil was like starting to say, well, if it doesn't start coming down, we're going to have to get it scanned. And then we got it scanned on the third week. And they said there's a lot of fluid there, but they're not quite sure where it's coming from. And there's a few like niggly bits where we didn't really know what were. And then went and seen the surgeon and that's when he basically told me, yeah, it looks like we're going to have to maybe operate or look into uh, what else other options are. And when you realised how serious it was, what was your initial emotion? Um, gutted really because obviously we'd, we'd had a bit of a break with the lockdown, the first lockdown and stuff and we were just getting back into it. We only played like two or three Europe games and we played Barry the week before the first um, first uh, league game and then that was it really and it was just the sense of being gutted and probably not going to be a part of it for a while and I've never had a lung injury before so I was, it was going into the unexpected really. And then they threw the operation into the equation as well, which prolonged the situation even more. Yeah, well, that was that was another turned out worse than I thought because when I first went in for the operation, they said to me that I was just going to get it trimmed because I didn't think it was as bad as it was. But once they actually got into my leg, I had to get a full repair. So I've gone from maybe being out for six weeks to four or five months, which was... Which obviously I didn't really know what was going to happen because I woke up from the operation and they told me you've got good news and bad news and I was a bit like oh here we go and then they said obviously the operation had gone well and everything had gone to plan but they'd have to do a full repair which is going to keep me up for a long time basically. And then you were able to ease yourself back into light training in the gym but prior to that sitting at home no football the thing that you love the thing that you pay to do how difficult was that a period? Yeah, it was. I think I had basically two weeks to ten days off at home, not really moving, not really doing anything on crutches. And then obviously, even when I came back in, I wasn't really doing that much. I was able to do a little bit of upper body work, but no legs. I couldn't really bend my leg for the first um, six weeks. So I was only able to go to like 40 degrees bend. So that wasn't really ideal. But yeah, it was just trying to get everything everything came fast really so it was like just trying to get my head around everything and just trying to work on all the strength spot I could at the time really and when you came in first time in the gym you started that road to recovery was that a positive step forward did you feel or did you at that moment in time still think there's a long way to go yeah I was just sort of taken week by week really because I didn't really know how long I was going to be out for because Obviously, I had the operation and they said it could be anywhere between three months and ten months or just depend on you, really. And, uh, yeah, so I just took week by week and, uh, yeah, it was it was tough because I didn't really know when the end goal was going to be and when my next game was going to be. And then, obviously, lads started doing well. The start of the season so good and I'm sat on the side just watching and, yeah, it's not a nice place to be, really. And it's fairly recently you were out there warming up with the lads prior to a behind closed doors friendly. You weren't involved in that particular game, Bangor City if I remember yeah, yeah. correctly, but was that again another big step forward on the road to actually getting out on the pitch? Yeah of course, I was just like the little goals, I was like obviously Phil was setting me like can you maybe do the warm up in training, can you maybe like go out on the pitch and maybe do a little light jog and it was just like little things like that were like sort of getting me back involved with the lads like obviously being around the lads because obviously sometimes in the gym you can get a bit isolated by yourself unless there's someone else in there with you which 
a lot of the time. I had Keston for the first couple of months, but and then after that, um, it was a few players here and there, but no long really long term injuries like myself. But yeah, like just getting involved with the lads, even just the warm up, just from morale really. It was just it was just nice to get back involved. And even through the darkest tunnel, there's always light at the end of it. And on Saturday, just gone, you were on the bench. Yeah, um, I was hoping to be on the bench the week before, but. Obviously, I didn't want to rush things, and the side said, "Yeah, just get yourself another week's training and um, just see how it goes and stuff." Obviously, all the training I can get is better. Obviously, trying to get match fit and stuff, which I know I'm not really there yet. But it was nice to be on the bench, and then obviously come on, yeah. And you came on at the start of the second half, and I must say, on a personal level, from the press box where we were, looking down and seeing the Brobble Eight <laughs> shirt about to come on, that was a great feeling for all of us, but for you. It must have been an incredible emotion. Yeah, um, as I said, I've never had a long term injury before, so that was probably the longest I've gone without playing a competitive match. And to be just to be involved on Saturday was nice. Uh, obviously, my first game and stuff, and I was expecting maybe 10, 15 minutes at the end, but and then I was warming up at half time, and uh, Sai came out and said, Sai, just um, going to put you on a half time, which I was like, great, like 45 minutes in, in my tank, and then obviously to come on and score. and and uh, the way that the game started and it was nice to come on because the lads were already done so well in the first half and it was um, it was a comfortable game for the lads here. And you've already mentioned the fact that you scored, we'll come to that in a in a moment. But it wasn't ideal to time to come on. The team was 4-0 up, so it was a, a comfortable game in that sense. Yeah, that's it, that's it. It was probably perfect for me really because if it was only 1-0 or maybe we were drawing or something like that, Sarge might have been a bit more reluctant because obviously I'm not at that sharpness I'd like to be at the minute but yeah obviously I'm going to work towards that but yeah it was probably the perfect game obviously the lads had in the first 20 minutes I think they were 4-0 up so it was yeah it was perfect timing really. Well it was great to see you on the bench even better to see you coming onto the field of play but the icing on the cake six minutes later you scored a goal. Yeah that was it um, I wasn't expecting it to come that quick to be fair but Obviously, I was confident in, me, in myself to come on and obviously create something or maybe get a chance myself and score. But yeah, it's always nice. Like obviously, the lads all got around me and they were all buzzing for me, which was which was nice. And then after the, in the dressing room, it was nice. Obviously, everyone came up and like said, "Welcome back" and whatever. So yeah, it was nice to score. And it's great to put all that behind you now, back on track, looking forward to training this week and then Carnarvon here on Friday. Yeah, that's it. Just going to take each day as, uh, each game as it comes now, really, and uh, hopefully my leg strengthens. Uh, obviously, there's a slight weak point, but um, yeah, there's obviously more games I get, the stronger and fitter I'm going to get, and, and eventually, hopefully, I can start being a big part of the end of the season. Well, Robs, thank you for this morning's insight, and on behalf of everyone at the New Saints, it's great to see you back, and we look forward to the rest of the season together. Cheers, Rev.